Hi everyone, I'm Devin from Visions and today I'm gonna to talk to you about credit and why it's important. It's one of those things that they don't really teach you in school and it's really important because it impacts every part of your life. So you may know that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but you may not know that your credit score can actually affect whether you can even get a job. A lot of employers wanna look at your credit score and say, hey, is this person actually responsible enough to hire at my company? So yes, your credit score impacts whether or not you can get a loan. It impacts your interest rates, but it can also determine whether or not you can rent an apartment, what your insurance rates are gonna be like, and whether you can even get a cell phone contract. So today I'm gonna to break down the range of credit scores, what makes them up, ways that you can help your score, and a whole lot more. When you really look at it, credit is just financial trust. And how lenders determine that financial trust is based on your credit score. Now, ultimately, they're gonna look at your credit score and decide whether or not to lend you money. And there are two types of loans out there. There's the closed-end loan, and then there's the open-end loan. Closed-end loan, we also call an installment loan. And that's when you take your money all up front. So think like a personal loan, or car loan, or a mortgage. You have a set dollar amount that you borrow, and then your payments are tied to that. Now an open-end loan is a line of credit. So say like a credit card. You are approved for a certain amount, and then how much you borrow and when you borrow is up to you. So if you just wanna buy like a pack of gum or like a new TV, your payment's based on that. It's not based on just one lump sum of money. As I said, credit is financial trust and how financial institutions gauge that trust is based on your credit score. And credit scores range from 300 all the way up to 850. Obviously the higher up you are, the better rates and terms you're gonna get, the more likely you are to be approved for a loan. But credit's not cut and dry. There are five main things that make up your credit score. First things first is your payment history. That makes up a full 35% of your credit score. That's over a third, and a single missed payment will stay on your credit report for two years. Um, next is your capacity for credit. That comes in at a whopping 30% too. If you have a $1,000 credit card with $200 on it, you're only at 20%. The less utilization you have on that credit card, the more capacity you have, the higher your credit score is gonna be. Next up, is the length of credit. That comes in at around 15%. And that's pretty self-explanatory. So it's just how long you've had a loan. So someone who's had credit history for 10 years versus someone who's had credit history for one year, they're more likely to have a higher score. Next thing is your new credit. That comes in at 10%. New credit means your inquiries. Um, how many times people are pulling your credit? How many times you're applying for a new loan? Every time that you do a new application, they'll do a credit pull on you. And we'll talk more about credit pulls later, but you wanna limit those as best you can because what it does is signal to your financial institution that you may not be able to pay the bills that you have. Finally, you have your mix of credit, your closed end loans, your installment loans, your open ends of credit, your credit cards. It's good to have a mix of those two to balance them out. That way your lender knows that you can handle your daily payments as well as the bigger stuff like your mortgages. So the first real important thing we're going to talk about next is interest rates and how they can impact how much money you're going to be spending on your loans. So I mentioned earlier that credit scores go from 300 to 850 and the higher the score, the lower your interest rates are going to be, the better terms you're going to be able to get. So let's do a real world example. Let's say you want to buy a car for $25,000 and you're going to do an auto loan for 72 months. It's six years. So with a good credit score, you might be looking at about 4% interest rate. And as far as payments go, that's gonna be about $400 per month. But if you have a lower credit score, say somewhere in like the lower 600s to the higher 500s, you might be looking at an interest rate of eight or 9%. And that's gonna bump your monthly payment up to 450. Now 400 and 450, that doesn't really seem like a big difference, but you gotta consider that that interest rate takes place over time with those 72 months. So the difference of that $50 over the course of six years is gonna be an additional $4,000 in interest. That's coming out of your pocket. So that's one of the reasons why your credit score is so important and why you need to work on maintaining it. So we've talked about what makes up your score. Now let's talk about some common misconceptions. So number one is your income. People think that if you make a lot of money that you're going to have better rates and terms, but really it's about the score in the end. So you could make $10,000 a month versus $2,000 a month. The person with a higher credit score is going to get the better rates and terms. The next thing is how long you've been at your job. Sure, bouncing around might not be the best thing on a loan application, but that's not gonna hurt your credit score one way or another. Same thing with your length of residence. So if you, you know, bounce around from couch to couch, 
that's not gonna hurt your score. It might look a little screwy on your application, but I wouldn't worry about it. And finally, your debt ratio. So if you have a small income and you've got a lot of bills, so long as those bills aren't in the negative, they're not gonna go on your credit report. So don't worry about that. That said, all four of those points can impact your ability to get a loan, but they're not gonna hurt your score one way or another. So we talked about why your credit score is important, how it affects your interest rates and your payments. Now let's talk about ways that you can maintain a good credit score. More than anything, make your payments on time. The best way to do this is to set up automatic payments. That way you don't even have to think about it. And a lot of lenders will actually require you to have automatic payments because they wanna make sure they're paid back. And if they don't require them, you may even get an interest rate kickback just for signing up for them. Next thing, keep the balances low on your credit cards. The higher capacity you have, like we mentioned, the higher credit score you're gonna have. So if you have a $1,000 credit card, like we mentioned earlier, try to keep it around 300 or lower. Now it's okay if you have some months where you have to spend more on a bigger ticket item, but just try not to make it a habit. Um, you can always pay it down, but if you're consistently maxing out your cards, it's gonna signal that you might be in some financial trouble. Speaking of cards, try to keep them open. That ties back into your credit history. So it's nice to have a credit card that you've had for 10 years, so long as you're not paying an annual fee on it. You don't have to use it, you can cut up the card, but just keep it open. Finally, try to balance your open-end credit and your closed-end credit. So it's good to have credit cards, it's good to have auto loans, it's good to have mortgages, just try to balance them out. And if you find that your credit card balances are getting a little high, feel free to consolidate that debt into a personal loan. You'll have a lower interest rate and your monthly payment will be consistent. Last, try to avoid excessively shopping around for credit because hard pulls, which we'll discuss next, can hurt your credit too. So hard pulls, soft pulls, what's the difference? So a soft pull is something that's not gonna hurt your credit. And these are typically used for the smaller things. So a job interview, a self credit check, your landlord deciding if they wanna rent you an apartment or not. Hard pulls are when you're actively searching for credit. So think like if you're applying for a new loan or sometimes even a new account at your financial institution. The more hard pulls you have, that's kind of signaling to your lender that you might be in financial trouble. Now, should you necessarily worry about hard pulls? A little bit, but so long as you're not going overboard and applying for a ton of credit in a short period of time, it's not gonna hurt your score. And it's gonna be a temporary blip in your score. So it might go down for a little bit, but after a month or two, you're gonna see it come right back up. So you know what your credit score is, but how do you actually check your credit report? Well, it turns out that you're able to get it once per year for free just by going to annualcreditreport.com. What's great about this website is that you can view all three bureaus. You can do Experian, Equifax, and even TransUnion. All of those are the major credit bureau companies that determine your credit score. Speaking of credit score, if you want to know what it is, go to your financial institution's app. A lot of them these days are doing a FICO score lookup, so you can see what your trends are month to month. Is your score going up? Is your score going down? Um, and if your institution doesn't offer it, try out a third party service. Something to keep in mind though, is that different institutions use different scoring models. So if you check one score versus another, it might look different and they also change month to month. So don't worry too much if your score goes up or down by five or 10 points here and there, that's normal. So I'm Devin from Visions Federal Credit Union and I hope you learned something today. Uh, we covered a lot from what makes up your credit score to how you can check it. And as far as building your credit, well, that's coming up in another video. Along with other stuff, we're gonna go through auto loans and a whole lot more. So like and subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great content coming out and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.